Um, the most significant thing um, that stood out for me today was the need from both parties, both app developers and young people, to work together to collaborate and make um, technology and health more accessible for young people my age um, and make it safer. I think there's definitely what came across to me as a need for regulation and legislation to make it safer because right now I think technology kind of evolved a lot faster than we've been able to keep up with so it's just a matter of catching up and um, so a way I'd use um, technology to monitor my health would be counting the number of steps I do every day um, just to keep me active and motivated. I also use an app to monitor how much water I drink because I'm normally not that great at drinking a lot of water so it's a fun way to do that. Um, also I think being active is important if you're always busy with school it's good to get out and an app's just an easy way of making sure that you're doing that. Uh, the next big thing in digital health for me would be um, online consultations with the GP. I think with the NHS being as understaffed and as underfunded as, as it is, online consultations are a good um, solution to that problem. I think our generation really wants the quick fix, as was mentioned today, and that like instant resolution is accessible if you are able to have that sort of thing. The most urgent issue for me in men in digital health would definitely be um, legislation, making it safer, making it, um, making sure the data that's collected is like looked after properly and is more easily accessible for people my age. I don't think so because um, as I mentioned on the panel today, uh, people, especially my age, just really want that um, relationship with a person so I don't think anyone like a doctor or nurse would ever be able to be replaced by AI because we are craving that relationship and every person's different so you're not going to be able to find a logarithm that suits every person on that side.